friends, today we are going to look at how to froth milk for a flat white. Now, before we begin, there are a few things that you need to ensure. The first thing is that the milk that you're using is cold. This has just come out from the fridge. Now, you could use either semi-skim milk or you could use whole milk. If you're going to use whole milk, it makes it a lot more easier. I'm using semi-skim milk over here. The other thing you need to ensure is that you're using the right size pitcher for the amount of milk that you need. And the third thing is you need, you're putting in the right amount of milk. So how do you know you're putting the right amount of milk? So you need to look at the picture. If you can, you can see, uh, this is the spout. And this, this is the spout which terminates inside over here. Make sure that the milk is not more than an inch below where the spout terminates. Now, the next thing is make sure that this wand is uh, right, um, is, is, absolutely, is absolutely vertical. Then what you need to do is you need to move the wand and slide it right in the middle of this picture. Okay, before you, before you froth milk, make sure that you remove all the water. Okay. Now, now how do you know what the right angle of the wand is? And now that depends on the amount of milk that you put in. Now you could think of this picture as, you could divide this into, into kind of four parts if you like. So the first plane is from from the middle of the spout to the other end. So that's one plane. So when you move this wand, initially it is in this plane. And the second plane is, is this one. From, from this end of the picture to the other. Okay, now hold the picture like that. with your index and middle finger. Now, and gently slide the wand in this plane. Right. Until the wand is just underneath the milk surface. Then you need to tilt the picture. You could tilt it either this way or this way. I prefer to tilt it this way, right? So remember this plane, right? So you moved away from this plane and you're moving in this plane until the wand is in between the center and this end. So that is the correct angle. Switch it on, switch the steam on, go all the way. Now you can hear this noise. Now that is the noise that you need to hear, the intermittent air being sucked in. Now with this finger, feel how warm the milk is. Now as soon as the milk starts getting warm, just a bit warm, you need to move the wand underneath the surface and create a vortex. This is going to allow the air to mix in. So essentially you're introducing air for just a few, few seconds initially. And then all you're doing is you're mixing the air. Now if it's warm enough, and you turn it off. You make sure that you've cleaned, uh, cleaned the steam wand. Otherwise milk tends to accumulate over here and it's not very hygienic. Now look at the consistency of this milk. Can you see how smooth it is? It's, it's almost like wet paint. Okay, for this next section, I'm going to use uh, water with a single drop of, of cleaning liquid. Um, that's to save on milk, really, and it is really good for practicing your your frothing skills. So remember, if that the uh, the angle of the steam wand it depends upon the amount of milk that you're using. So if you're going to use more milk, then this angle has to be less acute. If you're using less milk, then it has to be more acute. So for example, um, well, I'm, if you look at the, the, the level of the water, it is definitely more than an inch below the end of the spout. 
I have to determine the angle. Put the wand right in the middle of the spout. Use this finger to guide you. So as, as you're moving the wand, so as you're move, moving the pitcher vertically up, this wand also moves until it just breaks uh, the, the surface of the water. Right? So again, use this finger to guide you. This picture is moving upwards vertically and it has just broken the surface of the water over here. Right? Now, I don't know if you can observe, but this angle is much more acute uh, than the previous section where when I used milk. Now, angle the picture away until it is in the middle of a line drawn between the center of this plane and this end of the picture, so this way. Open the scene once fully. Gently lower it. You can see the change in noise. And, this, and you can hear the air being sucked inside the air. I'm feeling the warmth of the, of the water with these two fingers. And when it has become warm, I'm moving the wand underneath the surface to create a vortex. And that's it. And that's warm enough. You can see microfoam made out of soap. You can see the consistency of the microfoam almost like wet paint. So next we'll look at some of the common mistakes that, that we make when frothing milk. So a common error is to uh, either not dip the steam wand too far underneath the surface or to keep it too superficial. So let's see what happens if we uh, keep the steam wand too superficial. So just like before, First in this plane and then away. Now I'm going to deliberately uh, keep the steam on very superficial. Let's see what happens. You can see that noise? You do not want to hear this noise. And you're creating a really large bubble. This is not microphone. Now you might want to do this if you're making something like a cappuccino, I suppose, but not if you want a, a flat white. You can see the foam, this foam is, is really, it's not smooth at all, it is, it is quite hard, if you like. What about if we keep the steam worn too deep? You will, not, you will then not introduce enough air to make microfoam. So let's try and see what happens. So I'm deliberately keeping the steam on too deep underneath the surface. You can see the noise. You cannot see air being sucked in. This is too thin and there's barely any air which has been sucked into the into the water. This is not what you want. If you try and use this to make a, a flat white, you will not be able to create good latte art. Another common mistake when you are first starting out is to not move the steam on fully. So especially when you're when you're first starting out and you're a little bit nervous, you tend to open the steam on a little bit and then slowly open it all the way. So let's see what happens when you do that. Okay, I'm going to open the steam one slowly. And all the way.
that's not good microphone. You've got a mixture of microphone and, and large bubbles. If you try and use this to make latte art, it's, it's, uh, it's not going to work. Let's finish off. I'm going to use milk this time and show you the, the correct way to do it. Make sure you remove all the water. Steam wand in the middle. In this plane, it's just broken the surface. Tilt it away. Move the steam wand slightly lower so that you're infusing air. You can hear the change in the noise. at the consistency of this. Thank you for watching.